These boxes haven't been opened in 15 years, so today we're going to open them up and see what's inside for the first time. They are all rare, limited edition Tolkien books that were issued between 2007 and 2012, and the collector who I'm selling them for bought them when they came out and has kept them box fresh ever since. We have three boxes here, a large one, a medium one, and a small one and we're going to open them from largest to smallest. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I'll even show you a bonus fourth box that we uncovered. Our first box actually contains the rarest item of the three. And as you can see, it's been through the wars a bit, but the box is still intact and ready to be opened. So we still have in here, the original packing material to keep the book safe. And we also have, I'm gonna cover up the name here, the original packing list sent out by um, HarperCollins distributors. And there's a um, copy of the delivery note here as well. Now this is quite heavy, so I'm going to have to stand up to try and open it and show it to you. And I'm gonna need two hands to take it out the box but when I do, you will see one of the rarest and most sought after collected editions of Tolkien's work. This is the J.R.R. Tolkien Deluxe Edition Collection published in 2012 by HarperCollins. So in this slipcase, we have HarperCollins Deluxe formats of The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, The Silmarillion, The Children of Hurin, and Tales from the Perilous Realm. All of these volumes are housed in the individual slipcases that the HarperCollins Deluxe Editions usually come in. And then the whole is housed in this separate black slipcase with beautiful gilt writing and decoration all around it. It's still sealed in the original plastic and I'm going to leave it sealed as issued because I think it has a certain potency about it. HarperCollins only produced 100 sets of this deluxe collection and I would hazard that there aren't many that are still in their original condition. If we move to our medium sized box we can see that it comes with a warning on it that says cut tape carefully to avoid damaging contents and this you should bear in mind when you're opening books at home as well. We never slice along the center of the box, the way to open them is to just slice under the end where the blade is protected from the contents by cardboard on both sides. So if we do that at each end of the box, we can then very, very simply and very carefully tear the sellotape off the middle and open up and see what we have in store. And what we have in store is actually very similar to what we saw in our previous box, but this was issued five years earlier. This is the original J.R.R. Tolkien Deluxe Edition collection, but here we only have four volumes, The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, The Silmarillion, and The Children of Hurin, because Tales from the Perilous Realm hadn't been published yet. They produced this set in slightly higher quantities, but still only 500 copies were produced. And as you can see with this set, they didn't seal the box itself with plastic, so I can show you some of the volumes inside. This is the beautiful deluxe format of The Hobbit. Next to it, we have in one volume, this very stout and beautifully made deluxe format of The Lord of the Rings. Next to that, we have The Silmarillion, which is the 30th anniversary edition in the deluxe format. And last but not least, we have the Children of Hurin. Now this was actually originally published in 2007, i.e. the year that this set was issued. So there we have another rare and beautiful set of Tolkien's works in its original slipcase, again in untouched condition. So that brings us to our final box, which is very special and very exciting. It's another limited edition, but this time it's individually numbered. So we can see that this one is number 264. And we have it in its original packing case, which is kind of a clamshell, which means we can open it up and I can very carefully pull out the book inside. And this time we have this sealed 
brown leather box. It has Tolkien's monogram to the front cover and to the spine we can see this emblem here. And this gives us a clue to what's inside because this is the horse Grani from Norse mythology, the trusty steed of the hero Sigurd. Now this time I am going to break the plastic seal and show you the book inside because this is one of the rarest and most special items in modern Tolkien collecting. Nobody has opened this box up before but when I do you will see the rare super deluxe edition of Sigurd and Gudrun. Tolkien's retelling of the new lay of the Volsungs and the new lay of Gudrun based on the poetic Edda. HarperCollins produced just 500 copies of these back in 2009 and you'll see that this is a perfectly preserved example of it. The box is made of leather, the book is beautifully bound in leather and when we look inside we can see that this is one of just 500 copies that was signed by Christopher Tolkien. So this is literally box fresh, as good as you could possibly hope for. Now, as a special treat for those of you who stayed around till the end of the video and saw all three unboxings, I've got a bonus fourth one for you. I can't show you this side of the package because it has someone's address on it, but this is another totally unboxed limited edition. You can see the number it has on the end there which is number 38. It's still got these original plastic ties. So it's truly never been opened until now. So let's have a look inside and see what we have. I'll just cut these ties here and then it's another clamshell situation. So if I pull this piece of cardboard back and carefully lift it up, will have the contents, hopefully, of another beautiful book. This, again, is still sealed in its original plastic, and this is the other super deluxe edition that was produced by HarperCollins. You can see here again, repeated, we have the number 38 on the front here, and I'm going to, again, unseal it and show you inside. We'll take the plastic cover off very carefully and under this plastic cover we have the most beautiful original box. As fresh as the day it was issued and seeing daylight for the very first time. If you know this book you might know it from the helmet and again I'll open it up and we have a beautiful, a truly beautiful, super deluxe edition of the Children of Huron. We have the monogram on the back cover, the lettering to the spine, and this amazing helmet in red and gold to the front cover. All the edges are gilded, as you can see here, and when we open it up, this book is actually illustrated, so it's one of 500 copies, copy number 38, and it's signed by both Alan Lee, the illustrator, and Christopher Tolkien, who edited the book. It's one of the great highlights of modern Tolkien collecting, just like Sigurd, its companion. And I've actually recently taken into stock two amazing small collections of Tolkien items. They're all now listed on my website, so if you want to explore these books and others like it in more detail do check it out there drop me an email if you have any questions i hope you enjoyed us giving some oxygen to these books that have been in boxes for the last 15 17 years and i'll see you for next week's video